Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Power Is Now. My name is Eric Frazier. It's a beautiful day in Southern California, a great day to talk about real estate. And I have an incredible, outstanding, awesome VIP agent here today. Jenny Gonzalez out of Keller Williams, Corona, California, is going to be talking about two great properties today, folks, and I'm really looking forward to the discussion. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate your time. Those of you who consistently watch us every week, thank you so much for being a part of the program. Uh, it is a privilege and an honor to be able to bring real estate information to you and other content that we believe will help you uh, grow your business as a real estate professional and build wealth as a consumer. Thank you again for being with us today. My name is Eric Frazier, and I'm the host of The Power Is Now. And I've been doing this for over 11, almost 11 years now, hosting The Power Is Now and bringing great content, information about real estate and housing. In addition to being the host of The Power Is Now, I'm also vice president and um, mortgage advisor for First Bank. First Bank is a national lender, been around since 1910, and uh, my license number is through the NMLS is 461807. The views and opinions that I express on this show are my own and do not necessarily reflect that of First Bank. But let's bring on Jenny Gonzalez. Jenny, welcome to The Power Is Now Real Estate Roundtable. The pleasure is mine, Eric. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, Jenny, I have to say that each time you come on this show, um, we get more and more viewers uh, that are interested in the properties you have for sale, but I also notice that you have just continued to uh, develop as a, as a host, if you will, as a, as a speaker talking about real estate. So uh, congratulations on uh, just uh, on your development as a real estate professional and especially embracing online media today where everybody's on video and this is where you learn about real estate am i right about it that's correct i actually did an interview with a home inspector uh last week and i did an interview with escrow this week and it's been a great experience and the feedback has been absolutely fantastic well uh providing information that um helps people to make decisions about not only to buy a home but you know uh process of buying a home, the inspections, you know, uh, termites, uh, design, pools. There's so much to cover, isn't there? I mean, we could yes. get- a, a, And it's a, very a, detailed. And that's why I wanted to put that information out there because it's not just for, you know, transactions, such as say for a purchase and refi. They may need these services I'm sorry, not just for purchases and, and sales, but also for refinances. Sometimes they may need a home inspector to come in and tell them if they need to get some stuff done um, in order to appraise, you know, and get a refi cash out if that's what they need. No, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Well, let's get started today. You have two great properties that you want to talk about, and uh, I'm going to share the screen here. Uh, for those of you who are just joining us, we're talking to Jenny Gonzalez, and uh, we'll do a more formal introduction in just a second. But I want to invite you to share this information you're going to hear today. It's about two fantastic properties priced incredibly. They're, they're not going to last very much longer. So today is the Real Estate Roundtable, and uh, every Friday we invite our VIP agents to come on and talk about real estate to have for sale. And so Jenny Gonzalez is here. Her license number is 01249788. For those of you listening on Blog Talk Radio or anywhere you might be able to find the Powers Now podcast, it's 01249788. Jenny Gonzalez, real estate agent out of Keller Williams, California. And you can reach her directly at 951-316-0374. That's 951-316-0374. Jenny, tell us about this great property uh, that you have for sale in Corona, California. This house is just, has just been popping. I'm telling you, I'm getting so many calls 
and I'm for I'm getting lots of people pre qualified. <laughs> and it's just a constant um, call basis that everybody loves this property. So let me get started with it. It's at it's the MLS number IG 20064303. It's at 406 South Joy Street in Corona. That's in the heart of Corona, right off of Grand and Main. It's walking distance to the freeway, to Metrolink, to shopping, to everything. It's, the, it's three units with income at $4,100 a month right now on a 7,400 square foot lot for 575. The main house is two, four bedroom, two bath, and is running out at $1950 a month. It's on a month to month basis on this property and on the next property for the rents. So I need everybody to keep that in mind. It also has two different utility boxes. It's got one on the main and one on a second unit. So let's go through the first picture. This is my dollhouse property. I absolutely love it. They just finished painting the outside. They got concrete work done. They got vinyl fencing done. This is what it looks like from the front. This is the main house. And again, it's four bedroom, two bath. And here's the side entrance. So you got, here's your fruit trees. You got your grass. Look how beautiful this is. This is a gate entrance to the back. You see how beautifully manicured this is. This is the second unit. It's a two bedroom, one bath, and it's renting for $12.50 a month. It has its own meters, as you can see there as well. And here's all the concrete work they got done this last year. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And here's a back entrance. If somebody wants to come through the alley and bring their stuff in, parking, whatever they wanna do, that is available there as well, as, long as, as well as the shed that's there. Now this is used to be a garage converted and the appraiser that went there in December it calls it a casitas. So it's a one bedroom, one bath converted. It's your third ADU unit. It was considered a mother-in-law's casitas. It is attached utility wise to the main house, but it's only about $60 a month in utilities. So now let's walk back through the outside of the property. Keep in mind, this is tenant occupied, so I could not take my own pictures inside. Now this is the RV access side of the house where they did the concrete work. And as you can see, this is not a fixer upper. This is not a flip house. They've owned this property for over 15 years. There's great RV access over here. This is from the front. You see they did the vinyl fencing on the side over there as well. Now here's the kitchen. So my suggestion on this property is the other two units are updated. Someone to come in and actually update this house and live in it and rent the others out or update it and rent this out for $2,500 or dollars a month or more. Now the kitchen, you can see everything needs to be updated, but the other two units don't. This is, a, this is from the door to the kitchen. Look how large that living room is. I'm, I'm just imagining all the possibilities. It's got a gas fireplace there. All these possibilities in this house of this main unit. And that's the front there as well. Now there's wall units and window units for the ACs in this house. So here's the bedroom downstairs. And nobody's had any problems with the AC units. This is the bathroom downstairs. So you have a bedroom and a bathroom downstairs. Now this is the master bedroom upstairs and it actually has a balcony going outside. It's one of my favorite features of the house. And this is where the door is closed. Now here is the balcony, right? Just cool yourself off and let the breeze come in. I mean, I don't know how often I've seen that doors, doors closed. Now here's our main story here. And I know this is Eric's favorite part of our presentation. This is the upstairs bathroom. They kept it original. There's an actual aquarium there next to the bath, bathtub. I, I tell you, Jenny, every time I see this, uh, it just, it cracks me up. I mean. I love it. Well, uh, you gotta be pretty eccentric to have a, 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 an aquarium in your bathroom above the tub but you know i do like the idea of you know relaxing and yes you know instead of candles you have fish yeah yes yes 
So here's some more pictures of upstairs bedroom. So you can see it's in really good condition. They've really kept it up over the last 15 years. Tenants have no problem. Anytime a tenant is out, they have a waiting list to come in on this property. So you can see how clean it is and how well kept it is. So this is the second unit. So this is a two bedroom, one bath that has been remodeled. So here's the kitchen here. You can see the flooring's been done, the cabinet's been done and everything. And I think they did a wonderful job with the colors in here. And that flooring, that's wood flooring or is that's that? That's laminate flooring. Laminate flooring, yeah. And here's from the bathroom into the kitchen. You see how spacious this is. There's a lot of space in this unit. You can't tell from the outside the bathroom is clean. They updated the bathrooms. What is the uh, this unit renting for? 1250. Okay, 1250 and then this is the unit so the bigger house is renting for how much? 1950. 1950. Wow. Yeah, and so you can see how much space is in here. It's just unbelievable. You can see why it keeps renting out. Mm -hmm. Now, my story with this, how that this unit is when we they first got the property, I would hardly even would walk into it because it was graffiti and you can tell people been living in there and such. So, you know, it's it's great to see this property is in such great condition. This is the um, unit that's the conversion, the Casitas unit. So you can see they updated the flooring in here. It's been painted. They redid the kitchen. So they did everything very tasteful. You can't even tell this is a garage conversion into a casitas. It's wow, got a they... closet, it's got a bathroom, wow. and they're renting this out for $900 a month. Yeah, they, they did a fantastic job, Jenny. This is a uh, first class remodeling of an older home. This, when was this home built? 1900, around the 1900s originally wow. was the main house, yes. And it was originally 800 square feet and now it's 1,666 square feet. Wow. So as, as they got more family members, I think they just kept adding on to the house. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, let's talk a bit uh, briefly about the financing. Uh, so folks, this property is selling for 574. So you're looking at conventional financing and uh, it's available with down payment assistance if you're going to occupy the property. And I would uh, highly recommend that because with the rents coming in, you could almost completely just about, you know, you can knock down your payment to just minimal because of the rents coming in from the other two units. So if you're interested in, um, in looking at financing as an owner occupied, please reach out to me. I'll send you a breakdown. Uh, what those numbers look like. If you're looking at buying it as an investor, minimum investment on a three unit is 25% down. And Jenny, you would not believe the rates. I mean, now is the time to buy. Owner occupied in the in the high twos, owner that's FHA and uh, conventional is in the low threes as investors is in the high threes. So this is the time to truly by whether you are refinancing or purchasing as an owner occupant or as an investor. I completely agree. This, I've been pushing, pushing, pushing on this one because there's absolutely no reason why somebody shouldn't be able to go in there and just, as I call it, it's a, it's a money maker. Yes. It's a money yes. maker. Absolutely. Well, folks, uh, we just concluded 406 Joy Street, Corona, California, Riverside. 2942 square feet, lot size 7,400, purchase price $575,000 is a three unit building, seven bedrooms, four bathrooms with income to boot. My goodness, this is a deal. Congratulations, Jenny. Thank you, I need offers in this. I'm, I'm fielding those calls, let's, let's do this. <laughs> yes, let's do it, let's get it done. Well, um, folks, for those of you just joining us, this is a real estate round table. And we're talking to Jenny Gonzalez, real estate agent extraordinaire out of Corona, California, Keller Williams, Corona, California. And uh, she just talked about one fabulous income property. And now we're going to do another. Take it away, Jenny. All right, this one, uh, I fell in love with it the first time I saw it as well. This one was, um, purchased also for, it's the same seller. It's up near Lake Gregory in Crestline. The MLS number is IG2006431A. 
It's at 341 Weilerhorn Drive in Crestline, California in the San Bernardino Mountains. It's 2,100 square feet that's measured by an appraiser. It's a lot size, it's a little over 7,000 square feet, and it's a three bedroom, three bath for 350. Now let me explain this a little bit. They bought it as a single family residence, and as their family was there growing, I've known them for a very long time, um, they used the house as a, as a vacation home, a second home, and were there all the time. Then once the kids grew, they decided to put it into units so they can rent a portion out and still be able to go visit. So it is two units plus a man cave. All they did was put walls up. So all you have to do is take the walls down to make it a single family residence. So let's go through these pictures. <laughs> all right, this is the front of the house. They just finished painting most of the outside. So you can see, it's just, I love this house. It's balconies galore, 360 degree view. The best part of this property, four parking spaces, two wow. on the deck, two in the street. Most properties have no parking, okay? All mm. right. <laughs> so here's the right side of the property. Like I said, this is another rental. She's renting out on a month-to-month -month basis. So I could not go inside. I did, meet the, I did meet them, but I was not able to go inside. And this is the other side. As you can see, they've got um, just rails all the way around. There's a 360-degree view on this property. So this is the top entrance to the top unit. They're renting it for about $1,150 a month. And it's a two bedroom, one bath. Now this is a view from the street over the house to the mountains, right? <laughs> this is beautiful. This is a top unit balcony. Look how big this is. Imagine You're the view. You're gonna have a party there. You're gonna have a, a party on party. the balcony. Yes. <laughs> now this is a back view of the property. So it's a multi-level. This is the way it was. And that you can see how well kept it is. New paint, you can't beat this. The, ma the maintenance on it's fantastic. Now some of these pictures are move out pictures and some are from appraisers. I tried to pick the best ones. Now this is the main unit living room with the fireplace. That's a nice big space. This is the main unit kitchen. Great size kitchen. And then the bathroom. It's got great size bathrooms as well. Now this is what bedrooms look like when they're furnished. <laughs> and this is the second unit. It's actually got a freestanding fireplace. So you've got two fireplaces, okay? And then they'd have the second bathroom in the second unit. And you have laundry that everybody can access. So what I want to relay here is how close this is to the lake. I literally drove two houses down and took this picture of Lake Gregory. How beautiful is that? That is incredible. That is a beautiful, beautiful view. Yes. How far is Lake Gregory from the property? Is it like walking distance? Do you need to get in your car? Oh, you could walk. Okay. You could walk. We drove down there. It took about two minutes. Okay. So we drove down. Um, it is a private lake, only to the residents that are there. And we went and there were people, we ate our lunch. People were fishing and hiking. After we ate our lunch, we decided to hike to, it was on our anniversary. We were under quarantine and we said, let's get away. So that's what we did. <laughs> well, well, Jenny, what I like about this property is that it's price point number one. I mean, three hundred fifty thousand dollars, right? They say you can't find a property for you know under four hundred, five hundred thousand in the Inland Empire these days. Not true. You can go to Crestline, right, and uh, yeah. find a nice home with incredible views. How long will it take you to get down the hill to San Bernardino, or these? You know, if you work in Rancho or L.A., I mean, what 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 are we looking it's at? It's about twenty minutes from San Bernardino up the hill to Crestline. Okay. Um, it's if you go in any other direction, say LA, you're probably talking about an hour and a half drive right. um, from um, Orange County. I would say the same. It really depends on the traffic. Right. I, I'm really perplexed because I'm getting a lot of interest on this property, but no phone calls on the property. So okay, well let's see I if someone need, can call you today. Now I need someone to call to me call today. Because you. <laughs> you know, there's no reason why this property should still be on the market. There's, yeah, there's absolutely none. Right. Yeah, so, absolutely right. You know, well, and, 
In terms now, of financing it, though, Jenny, I mean, at 350, your payments are crazy low. Someone could afford this as a second home. I mean, uh, it's a great kind of vacation getaway property, or they could live down there. Crestline is a growing, vibrant community. And if you're into outdoor skiing and hunting and all those kinds of things. And fishing, you can live in one and rent out the other. That's right. That's right. <laughs> now, if you're going to live in one, you can get down payment assistance. So this property, I mean, FHA, 3.5% down, conventional, 3% down. Uh, those funds can be provided through you uh, to you from the Golden State Finance Authority, also the California Housing Finance Agency. Down payment assistance is available. You can literally buy this property with no money down if you're going to live in it as your primary residence. As a second home, then you're looking at you know five to ten percent down as a second home, five to ten percent down conventional financing. Uh, but as a primary residence, you can get this with no money down, and we're talking about incredibly low payments. Now, if you would like a breakdown of what it would take to get into this property, down payment, closing costs, everything, please drop me an email at eric.frazier at the power is now or eric.frazier at fbol.com. Either way, or call me at 714. 4758629, and I can give you the details on how to get into this property with little or no money down. So that concludes 341 Weiler Horn Drive, Crestline, California, San Bernardino County, 2,100 square feet, 7,140 square foot lot. That's a nice size lot, fantastic vacation property, second home. Ideal for first time home buyers who are tight on the budget. Do you know how low a payment is on 350,000? Call me and find out. All right, call me and find out. Jenny, great job on two fabulous listings. Folks, uh, if you wanna reach out to Jenny, please do so and get all the details we couldn't talk about, didn't have time to talk about today. Jenny, any final comments about both properties? I just want to say the seller is motivated. She's not accepting lowball offers, but she is motivated. So if you need help with closing costs or anything like that, please just go ahead and let me know. If you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to help. I have a lot of agents saying, hey, can I have my buyer call you? Of course, the buyer can call me and ask any questions. I have no problem with that. I'm ready to accept and open up escrow at any point in time on either of these properties. And hopefully we can do that this weekend. I'm really excited about it. Well, I'm excited for you. And uh, I can't wait till this COVID-19 thing is over. And so we can get out and do open houses and, you know, meet people at the property. But, you know, hey, uh, what do you think about this virtual touring? You know, these interviews? Actually, I, I love them because <laughs> You know, if I actually would like it more, um, I need more listings that are actually not tenant occupied, but people that are just moving out or maybe a vacant property because we have phenomenal photographers that can do great virtual um, video and great looking pictures. And I'm telling you, when you list your property right now, there's offers within a couple of days, especially in this market right now, because there's so many buyers out there that they are just looking for these properties. So I encourage anybody that's even thinking about listing their property to go ahead and contact me. I'm available, I'm a full-time agent. Yes, you are, Jenny. A full-time, extraordinary real estate professional doing big things in Corona, California. Thank you so much for being a VIP agent on The Power is now. Thank you, Eric. Well, folks, uh, that's a wrap of our Real Estate Roundtable. Look for more shows right here on The Power Is Now, Facebook Live. And for those of you who are listening on Block Talk Radio, iTunes, TuneIn, Spreaker, wherever you find your podcasts, I want to invite you to share this video. Please share the video. Uh, I'm certain there's somebody you know might be interested in buying this prop, these properties, both properties that Jenny has provided, and reach out to Jenny if you have any questions about uh, buying uh, or selling real estate. Uh, so as you can see, she's a listing agent as well as a buyer's representative, and so she can help you get it done. For those of you who are real estate professionals, if you're interested at all in, in promoting your property like we are doing today, 
I want to invite you to participate with us. Uh, we have a program called the VIP Agent, and that VIP Agent program allows you to be really a part of our platform where you can talk about real estate for sale. What a great way to get the word out about your property for sale. I mean, think about it. What's happening right now? Everything is online. All information is available online. Now is the time to get online, start building your business, building your brand, and helping your sellers get more property, get more exposure to the property that they have for sale. Well, uh, this has been a, a great show today. Jenny's done a fantastic job. I want to invite you to uh, check us out on all our various platforms and also check out our magazine. Uh, in fact, the May issue is out today. Uh, we're celebrating Cinco de Mayo and the founder of the National Association, one of the co-founders of the National Association of Real Estate Professionals, Gary Acosta. Great article. Uh, Gary's going to be joining us in a couple of weeks and uh, kind of do a uh, biographical interview. Uh, learn the story and how NARAP came into existence and the great things that organization is uh, doing today. So uh, connect with us, connect with us folks in every way you can. I promise you that the information we provide uh, every week and throughout the week on The Power Is Now is, um, is useful. If you're interested in becoming a VIP agent, uh, you can go to our website, thepowersnow.com. And there you'll find under membership, VIP agent, uh, and there are all the details. The Real Estate Roundtable is something we do on Fridays, uh, but occasionally throughout the week. And I encourage you to um, you know, check out all of our shows and programming. Uh, you will not be disappointed. All right. Um, so coming up on this Tuesday night, uh, next Tuesday is our first time homebuyer seminar. And uh, I can't emphasize the importance of uh, being a part of that, folks. If uh, you have nothing going on on uh, Tuesday night, uh, please check us out Tuesday night at seven o'clock and we're going to be talking about down payment assistance. We'll be talking about um, all kinds of different programs uh, to help you get into a home right now. Well, that's a wrap of the Power Is Now Real Estate Roundtable. Have an awesome day, folks. We'll see you again right here on the Power Is Now. <music> Fuck! 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 Fuck!